Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. This is Tony Wayne for Twitter TV, and before you buy, and today I'm reviewing the Samsung Galaxy Stellar for Verizon Wireless. Now, Stellar is defined by Merriam-Webster as off or relating to the stars, composed of stars, and or something that's outstanding. And after using the Samsung Galaxy Stellar, I have a different definition for Stellar. Now, for the specs of the Stellar, we're looking at dual-core 1.2 gigahertz Snapdragon processor, one gigs of RAM, four gigabyte of storage with only 1.5 gigs available for the user out of the box. Now you can always supplement that with your micro SD card storage, which bumps you up to 32 gigabytes, which is, you know, average. And um, speaking of average, the display is only a four inch TFT display, not even AMOLED. It's 800 by 480, which is kind of awkward looking at your Android 404 menu and realizing that you're constantly scrolling because the menu is not displaying correctly because the phone software is expecting to have a higher resolution than 480. Running the OS, the phone was nice and snappy, no problem whatsoever, low resolution display, the processor can handle it. Now the spec that really made this phone not so stellar is the not so stellar 3.15 megapixel camera from 2008. Even though the phone does come with a 1.3 megapixel front-facing camera for your selfies, but 3.15 megapixel with no flash because back in 2008, most phones don't have flashes. I think you know where I'm going with this. Pros and cons. Pro, the phone is nice and compact. If you're used to iPhone 5 and iPhone 4S or iPhone 4, this would be the same size phone for you on Android, minus all the nice display and camera and stuff. Another pro is that the phone is affordable, coming in at $30 with two-year contract. And now for the con, um, if you're a power user, you won't be looking at this phone. This phone is a very basic smartphone for first-time smartphone users who really don't know what they're looking for in their smartphone. If you don't need to take pictures, this might be the phone for you. If you're looking at this phone because of your own budget, uh, another good choice on Verizon would be the Stratus 2. It's actually a better spec phone with a slide out keyboard and a better camera. And the phone is actually free right now from Verizon with two year activation. The iPhone 4 is still available on Verizon for free with two year activation. Buy, try or don't buy, I'm gonna have to give the Stellar a don't buy. If you're looking for a budget phone on Verizon, you can get the iPhone 4 for free, you can get the Stratus 2 for free, and both phones are better specced and just overall better phone than the Stellar, which is not so stellar. I'm Tony for Twitter TV and before you buy, and this is the Samsung Galaxy Stellar for Verizon Wireless.